Oh, hi, this next recipe is fabulous. I, I get really excited with this next recipe because it's really, really yummy. Homemade fish cakes, which has got tartar sauce, which is great, and also with, we're serving them with that some potato skins as, as well. Now, what I've done here is, is taking the potatoes. These are washed, and I've actually just peeled some of these because I wanted, as you can see, these are robust and I've got quite a lot of flesh left out on that. And it's just really just taking the knife, being careful. The reason I'm doing being robust with this is because these are gonna be frying off later on and these are great to dip into with some lovely sea salt and some lovely dipping into that tartar sauce. Once I've got the potato peeled, okay, this is gonna be the, the basis for our mashed potato. Okay, so what we've done is I've peeled the potatoes it's quite simple. I've chopped them up and I've popped them in a pan. I'm going to bring them up to the boil and we're just going to slowly cook them and then we're going to turn them into mash. I'm using pollock, which is a great alternative to cod. I've got in here the milk and I've also added in the water as well. I'm just going to pop that into the frying pan. I'm just going to pop in some ripped bay leaves. Okay. And I've also got to pop in the little bit of veg stock in there as well. I'm just going to put this over onto a medium heat and cover. I've got some leftover tin foil which I've already used and I'm going to be using this tin foil. All you need to do if you've got any leftover, just wash it, dry it and reuse it. I've just put the fish now onto the heat, onto a medium to high heat, bring it up to the boil and then what we're going to do is we're just going to turn that down and then we're just going to simmer this for about four minutes and then we're going to turn the heat off and just going to let the fish absorb and cook into its juices for about 10 minutes. While the fish is cooking beautifully, what we're gonna do is, the, the, the potatoes have been on for about 10 minutes now. I've turned the potatoes off. I'm just gonna drain them and then we're just gonna mash the potatoes. Just going to, I'm just mashing these potatoes here. Okay. And, and again, the great thing about these is, is that they don't have to be smooth. Just use a normal potato masher and again, what you're doing is, is the great thing about it is that you're adding ingredients and you're making it robust and fun and that's the whole part of and the enjoyment about cooking which is great. The fish has been simmering, I've turned off the heat now, I've rested it for about 10 minutes and what we're going to do, we're just going to remove the fish from the pan onto a plate just to cool down. Okay, now the fish is actually cooled down, we're just going to flake it up into the potato. Also into the potato, I'm going to put in half a zest of the lemon. And again, I've kept the other half back for a macro recipe later on in the recipes we're doing. That goes in. Some chopped herbs into the mixture as well. And some chives, along with some salt and some pepper. And then all we're going to do, we're just going to Gently fold the potato and the fish in together. Okay, once this is mixed in a little bit, I'm just going to add in the egg yolk. Okay, now once we've got to this stage, we're going to start making the fish cakes. And I'm just going to take a little bit of flour onto the hands, put them into nice little fish cake patties. Then we're just going to pop them on the plate. So we'll just do a couple of more here. Now we've got our fish cakes here. The best results for these to, to work once we're frying them is to just cover them and pop them in the fridge for a minimum of about half an hour, just so they're easier to breadcrumb. So now what we've got here, I've just taken the fish cakes out of the fridge, okay? So we're ready to put those through our flour, eggs, and breadcrumbs, okay? And while we're doing that, you can mold them and pat them, as I say, into whatever shapes you like, into the egg wash, okay, into the breadcrumbs, Okay, and the good thing about these is these are absolutely yummy. I'm just going to pop these into a preheated oven, which is gas 5, 180, 350 for around 20, 30 minutes until golden brown. In the meantime, I've got the potato skins and I've got an industrial fryer here. If you've got a frying pan at home, fantastic by all means, but be careful when you're doing them because hot oil burns. I'm just going to pop these in and I'm just going to drop them into the hot oil until golden brown. And just before I take the fish cakes out of the oven, we're just going to quickly bring this tartar sauce together. In this tartar sauce here, we've got the gherkins, capers, hard boiled egg and some mayonnaise. I'm just going to mix this all together and obviously our chopped herbs as well. The, okay, the fish is about done. I'm just going to remove this now and then we can start plating up for, to enjoy this lovely lunch.